for Gary, another agonising defeat. Um, again, he's got to have the effort, certainly in the desire, and that second half performance showed a brilliant save at the end to, to deny us a point. Uh, how would you assess the game? Um, well, the players gave everything um, against a team that is sitting top of the table. Um, for two set plays that were costly for us. Um, I just felt we give too many, too many free kicks away, too many set plays. Obviously, with their deliveries and you know uh, personnel that they've got, they're always going to be a threat from that. But in general play, I thought we gave a very, very good account of ourselves. And uh, when is it going to turn for us? Is the best side lost tonight? Well, I would just say, uh, personally, I think it's probably our best performance. Um, apart from that, maybe that 15 minutes before half time. Uh, that's for you to say whether the best side lost or not, but they're sitting top of the table and we are where we are. This was tonight just a, a great indicator of, of the showing of, of how a team top of the table has some luck and how a team at the bottom of the table doesn't get that. Yeah, yeah. well summed up, I think. So um, we go to the first half performance. We're playing fantastically well, first half hour, really taking the game to them. And then two two set pieces near identical in the space of two minutes, and then we've shot ourselves in the foot. It must have been quite disappointing, was it? Well, it's disappointing <coughs> considering that um, you know we go through that uh, leading into the game, um, and obviously people uh, are responsible. You know, they have people to pick up their markers and stuff like that, uh, and we actually show, show them as well before the game. You know, the day before the game, we get go through the presentation, as you know. But look, that's football, things like that happen, you know, the opposition are trying to find a way to score um, and they've done that from two set plays, which was obviously disappointing. But um, I can't speak highly enough for the players tonight, the way they went about it. You know, I asked them at half time to go and win the second half and they've done that. So, um, yeah, a lot of pleasing things from the game, but ultimately we lost the football match and uh, that's all that counts. What is it with set pieces this season? I feel like we we both sound like broken records with me asking and you, and you answering. It's, mm. It seems nearly a, a weekly occurrence. Certainly, if we've lost the game. Yeah, I don't know. It's, you know, we keep talking about it, keep talking about the group about it in terms of getting the first contact on it. Um, yeah, it's frustrating, of course it is, but um, we can't do nothing about it at the moment. It's uh, it's been that, as you rightly say, throughout the season. So, you know. The opposition are trying to find a way, and from set plays they are. And a good opposition as well, they certainly picked out an area of weakness. But um, like I say, the two quick goals really took it out of us when we were certainly in a period where we looked on top. What was said at half time for the boys, because they certainly come out that second half and, and showed that fight and desire that, that you expect and, mm. and the club expects from their players as well. Yeah, well, for 30 minutes. I thought we played extremely well, and then you're walking up the stairs here, yeah, two 0 down, um, and then it's a case of you know making sure that we go again because there've been certain <coughs> games in the second half where we haven't, and you know we responded to that tonight, and you know we've gone out there and we're on the front foot again, and for a fantastic save, you know we could we could have picked up a point, but um, the general play was very good, but. Bottom line is we lost. Uh, for the penalty incident, did you think it should have um, been a red card? Because Scott was certainly about to pull the trigger and, 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 and put the ball into an empty net when he's about to score. Let's not talk about referees, please. Yeah, no problem. Um, <laughs> and you would go to the save now. That it sort of reminded me of, of when we was at that top level and, and Bully would pull out a save against the team and, and win us three points. Is that, is that a great keeping performance? Because it wasn't just the only save he's made tonight either. Well, it's not that, you know, he's a good keeper um, and he's as important as the centre forward who's going to get you 20 odd goals a season because keepers win your games, they pull off saves at vital times in games and obviously he's done that tonight for, for Orient. So uh, we wish him well, we wish him good luck uh, and we have to move on to Saturday. Were you pleased with the subs impact tonight because Matty come on and he created a chance instantly and Rhys yep. Grant come on and he had that chance that was brilliantly saved by Brill. Mm -hmm. uh, were you pleased with their impact this evening? Yeah, I was pleased. Yeah, and that's what you expect from your, your your subs when they come on the field of play. You want an impact, and we certainly got that tonight. And the fans, well, once we scored that goal, they really got behind the team, and it was like almost 
East Bank almost sucked that ball into there, didn't they, for that save? They did, almost, and uh, there was a, you know, I don't know, a feeling of, you know, getting right behind the team, uh, togetherness, um, and they nearly done it for us. Great, well, thank you for your time tonight, Gary. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.